Four ministers and their relatives may have exposed the public to COVID-19 after they skipped mandatory isolation of people returning from high-risk countries. Two ministers are said to have picked their children who were traveling from South Africa and South Korea, but they used their influence to evade mandatory screening and quarantine. Another minister is said to have traveled from U.S. via Dubai. NTV has learned that upon receiving the information, the president who also chairs cabinet but these ministers from attending cabinet meetings. Country. So we, those people are subjected to, to self-isolation from, from cabinet and also self-isolation like for members of parliament to self-isolate themselves from parliament not to come to the house. On Tuesday, Speaker Rebecca Kadaga directed the sergeant at arms to deny entry to three MPs who recently travelled back from Dubai and skipped the mandatory isolation. In today's meeting, the Parliamentary Commission agreed to continue looking out for other MPs who might have traveled to the high-risk countries. Who would have endangered their own families? You can imagine. It is, you take something as a joke. Instead of you self-isolating yourself or being remaining in the quarantine, now you come and you take now a problem to your home. Meanwhile, the Commission has maintained that Parliament will continue transacting business, especially processing the budget, to meet the timelines set by the Constitution and the Public Order Management Act. And not uh, abandon our obligation and, uh, and we just uh, take off and run away. But we are taking serious precautions to make sure we don't spread the disease or we don't catch the disease. The Minister of Health will need money. The security forces will need money. So if we don't complete this budget process, then it means at some stage the country will be stuck and we cannot move. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.